Hello guys and welcome back or welcome here if you are new. My name is Amy. So today's video is going to be a little bit different and it's not going to be anything really booktube related, but I am going to give you guys a college update. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos. I figured I would come on here and do another update video. So today I'm filming this and it's April 27th and I just finished my final for my in-person class, Design Fundamentals 2. So I did one and two fall and then spring back to back. So all that to say, I've had the same professor and funny enough, in the same classroom for eight months. And not only that, but several of the students from Design 1 carried over into Design 2. So, you know, I've been with the professor and these students now for eight months twice a week for two and a half hours each class, so five hours a week. And um, it was kind of it was kind of bittersweet today because we gave our final presentation and then at the end of it, it was done. And he's like, well, I guess that's it. And I go, that's so sad. He goes, yes. He's like, it is, it's so sad. I just wanted to come on here and just give an update. And um, yeah, the semester, the spring semester, you guys, this is my last week. So I have a final that's due tomorrow. Also, I have to turn in my teacher evaluation observation sheets. And so that was one thing I had to do this semester. So yeah, it was just, it was like bittersweet, but I have to tell you guys what happened to me today. It was like, and this is our final, okay? This is our final presentation. And what we had to do was, is we had to do something called Earthworks. And basically the Design 2 class is like a 3D art sculpture type class. Everything we make is 3D. And so we had to go to a park or a beach, just somewhere that is a natural environment. We had to kind of scope out the lay of the land and see what elements were available to us. And so we ended up going to the beach because, you know, we're in Florida and it's only about 45 minutes to an hour away. And that's just so natural. Plus any excuse I can get to go to the beach, I'm all for it. So we ended up going to a beach called Ormond by the Sea, so Ormond Beach, and it's so pretty. And what's unique about this beach is that the sand, the sand is actually like a rust color. So it's really pretty and it's like, it almost looks like glitter. And that's just because of the, of the type of shells and things that are like left over. And so anyways, I ended up making this piece. I used seaweed, I used grapeseed leaves, sand and water and we had to make a PowerPoint presentation. So I made slides, I did everything. So I saved it on the flash drive. So we go into class and he says, okay, everybody take out your flash drives and save it to our class folder. So it comes up to me, I put it in, I do the thing. Well, I'm looking at the projector because it's like being projected. And I'm looking and I'm noticing, okay, wait a minute. The little logo next to my, pres next to my presentation Number one, it does not show it, show it as a PowerPoint. It shows a, like a Windows icon. Number two, the size of it was like super small, like compared to everybody else's. And I thought to myself, what is going on? And so I'm sitting there thinking something is wrong. And we're, we're all, we can all see the projector and no one has said anything. I haven't said anything. And I could just kick myself because I'm like, what in the world? So I go up to do it. I go to open it and then like the Windows sign-in comes up and all of a sudden we can't get into it. It's not taking my email or my login or anything. And I was so upset. Everyone was. They were like, what in the world? And so we tried it just with the flash drive without saving it anywhere just to try to use that. It was not working. I felt so defeated. I was like, this is my final project. I worked so hard on this presentation. I was like, no, this, I'm like, this cannot happen. I started to get a little flustered because I was upset and I just felt stupid in front of the whole class that I didn't save it to the flash drive correctly. What I did was, is I saved it as a link. I'm like, Amy, really? I do presentations for work like all the time but rarely do I have to save them to a flash drive. I just save them on my computer, right? So anyways, my professor was kind enough and the students were kind enough. And so he's like, how far do you live? And I was like 10, 15 tops. So I came home, I ended up just saving it as a PDF. That was like the quickest thing. And then I just went right back to school. So it took me about half an hour. They were done and they were kind of like stalling. And he was like, well, we waited for you. We were stalling. They were like, they all were like clapping when I came in. They were like, you made it. 
And so, you know, I was able to go ahead and present, you know, my final project. And I told the class, I was like, I apologized to all of the students and I said, I am so sorry, but I, I said, I do want to go back and look at everyone's presentation. So I was just so glad that in that moment I had favor. I do apologize for the lighting. It's going to be changing here because it's, my class is over at like 4 30. all right i'm back sorry about that but yes that class this semester it was tough i mean it was a 3d art class he's a tough grader you know he himself is an artist and so he's very tough as long as you don't turn in your project late if you turn it in on the due date but if you want to perfect it he gives you time to resubmit it but he just takes 10 10 percent off like a few projects back i just i had gotten a bad grade i got like a 70 and I was not gonna ta I was not gonna do that. I mean, no. Like my standards, I try not to, to make them too high, but you guys, you know, I have standards like A's and B's is what I want. A's is really what I want, but A's or B's. And so when I got that grade, I said no, that's not gonna work. And so, luckily, like the deadline to submit everything the whole semester was April 24th. And so I did have one night. I said, you know what? I'm gonna redo this. I was up until like midnight and the next day we got up early in the morning before work dropped it off in the classroom and then a couple hours later he graded it once i redid it and everything my score was back up so i kept my a in the class that was really important to me you know as an art education major i want to make sure especially in my art classes and my education classes that i'm getting a's because i want to make sure that i am learning and you know just soaking in as much as i can for my next career but yes, there was a lot of challenging times in that class, to be honest. And the one that I actually had to redo, we had to use one piece of wire, one long, like however long we needed it to be. And we had to make like some kind of animal, like a, either like a mammal or just some kind of animal of any kind. And so I went with a shark. So I thought, all right, that can't be too difficult. Well, it was. Trying to forge, trying to make a 3D animal with one continual strand of wire and keep it clean and not bendy that is so hard you guys that project about like broke me i was like i cannot do this but i ended up like i said i stayed up till midnight one night just redoing that and uh, my grade definitely went way up and so i got my a back so that was exciting but yeah it's it's been it's been a trying semester i'm not gonna lie so basically the semester i had a math class like you know college algebra then I had intro intro to teaching I had art appreciation and then design fundamentals too so math class takes me a little bit longer just because math has never been like my top subject but I cannot believe it as of right now I do have an A in the class I have a 91 and like I said I have my final left I don't know if I can hang on to it but I'm proud of myself that I'm actually learning so that's exciting and then my education class was a lot of fun I got to learn a whole lot about the ins and out of education and I got to do some observations so I had to log observation hours for elementary middle and high school and so our church has a school but it was just so cool like seeing how they teach like their methods and you guys the students they are just the absolute sweetest some of them were already like confiding in me like some of the high school students this one young man he was you know telling me all about how he did this um, written word or the spoken word at his church and he wanted me to see his video and so his teacher I was sitting in on her class she emailed it to me and so when I came back the following week I was like you did so good and you know he was giving me like his testimony you just really like get a connection with these kids like quick and even in my friend's elementary class when I when I was observing I was just sitting there and the kids would look over and they would like wave at me and it was just I was like wow okay this is totally where I'm meant to be because I could just so picture it it just became like so real and then in my art appreciation class that was more like textbook but we did have to do different assignments like photography we had to do go out take pictures and then upload it we had to do drawings and let me just tell you like one more story about my art appreciation class about my last assignment I can't believe that it's like two last assignments in a row you guys I had missed all the assignments in my art appreciation class I could not believe it and I just had so much on my mind with the projects and the math and just everything coming due I thought I was ahead of, ahead of the game but in reality I was behind the game now I have held an A in this class as well art appreciation the entire semester 
I was so upset. I wanted to cry. I was like three assignments that I've missed, but I said, you know what? I've got 30 minutes and I went into overdrive, you guys. Luckily, some of the things that we were covering on the test were things I've been going over in my design fundamental class. And so I took the quiz, I got that done. So then I got a good grade on that. And then we had to do a discussion post, which I knew I was not gonna have a chance to do because I'm like a thinker when it comes to like those posts. But not only that, you had to add different things to it. And I said, well, okay, that's 10 points. Let me not focus on that. Let me focus on the assignments that have the higher point value. And so, you guys, I was so upset because I love doing these art assignments just because they're fun. And the last one, I mean, the very last one, I was like, how could I do this? How could I just totally forget that I had to do these assignments? I just thought I was caught up. And I know I cannot be the first college student to like miss assignments, but that's just not me at all. And I normally check Canvas like crazy. Anyways, and so I put together, I put together something because I thought, you know what, at the end of the day, some points are better than zero points. And so what we had to do was we had to find a craft media artist, write all about them, their age, what they do, what they're crafting, find three of their art, three of their pieces, talk all about them, when they were made, what materials they were made, and answer this list of questions. And I'm like, how am I going to do this in 20 minutes? So I put something together, I mean, at least it's something. Even if I get 25 points out of 50, that's better than nothing, and I will still keep my, my A. So I'm really praying, I am so hoping that I did not mess up that grade. But you guys, this is just the kind of pressure I've been under. And um, I know I need to like tone it back just a little bit. And then we have summer around the corner, so I don't know if I need to just kind of lighten my load over the summer a little bit. But I just hate to do that because I just don't want to waste time. I want to get through this. If I'm going to do something, I just figured I want to do it to the best of my ability. But sometimes, sometimes these expectations can really mess you up and it causes errors in, in itself. And so anyways, I know that was like kind of like long, a long winded thing, but I wanted to just catch you guys up and I cannot believe spring semester is over. I don't know. I don't even know where it went, but I just wanted to come give you guys an update and let you know that I am pushing through. I'm doing really well and um, yeah, I'm excited even though it's been challenging, you know, my husband has supported me and I just feel like the Holy Spirit, he has just, he has really helped me like when I'm doing my test, he'll, I'll be like, I'll be like, God help me. Like I need to bring things to my remembrance because you guys know sometimes, you know, you just learn so much and trying to sort through it. Anyways, I don't want to ramble, but I just want to say thank you all for watching this video if you made it this far. And um, yeah, thank you guys for supporting me on my journey. It was really fun to kind of give this update. But yes, I'm doing good and I can't believe, wow, that I'm already like over a year into this. It's so quick. It's so crazy how quick that it went. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and a little glimpse into my life. And yep, yeah, until next time, guys, take care.